Hi, my name is Julia and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chicken and potato casserole, which is a very good way to make a unique meal, a complete meal. All you're going to need is like a little salad to go with it and you're done. So um, I have a chicken here that I'm going to saute first, but I'm going to give you all the rest of the ingredients. Uh, meanwhile, uh, you're going to need some potatoes, obviously, either five or six small potatoes or two or three big ones. Um, some onions. Uh, I'm using uh, green onions, but you could use regular onions, just sliced kind of thick. Uh, parsley, tomatoes, um, salt, pepper, oil, and um, I think that should be it for the time being. If you need some extra liquid, you could use a little broth. But that's about it, basically, the ingredients, okay? I am going to pat dry the chicken and I'm gonna saute it in a uh, pan. So um, I'm gonna do that now. I'm just gonna put my chicken. Uh, one other thing I was gonna say was that um, usually when I do this kind of um, dish, I use a whole cut up chicken. Uh, just happened to not be able to find that or, you know, when I was shopping, so I'm using um, pies and uh, drumsticks. It should be just as good, but um, the fact that you're using the whole chicken, what makes it better is that th the wings and the backbones gives a lot of flavor to the chicken, so especially when it cooks all together. So if you can, use a whole chicken. For, this, for today, we're going to just use this uh, thighs and, and um, drumsticks, okay? So I'm going to get that pan ready. So I have my pan on, getting warm, and as soon as it does, we'll put the oil in, and a little bit of oil, and then we'll start sauteing the chicken. Meanwhile, I'm going to turn on the oven at 375. Come on. Okay. So it'll be ready as soon, because as soon as we get all the stuff together and, and put it in a roasting pan, we're going to um, put it in the oven and let it cook. And it'll be nice and easy. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of the oil around so that it gets, all of them get a coating. Okay. Let's see if this is ready. And if the pan is not big enough. We're gonna do it like in batches where we'll saute a couple of pieces and then we'll put the rest of them after. Now we're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper. Just give it a little seasoning. Okay. We'll give it a nice and we don't need to cook it really for a long time. Just give it a little bit of coating so that when it gets in the oven, it doesn't get, doesn't lose too much of the juices. And we'll season it on the other side a bit. And then when we put it in a roasting pan, we'll basically just season the potatoes. And that'll be it. This happened to be, it had to be a really big chicken. Look at the size of those thighs. Nice and hefty. This is one of those uh, dishes that uh, when we grew, we grew, we were growing up, if we managed to get a nice chicken or um, we used to use lamb, uh, like lamb to stew and um, with potatoes as a casserole. Very, very delicious also. Um, that, you know, being a big family and all, it was just easier to just prepare a big, big roasting pan, put it in the oven. Actually, what we used to do is send it to the common oven in town because we didn't even have an oven in the house. So that's how we used to get done. And um, yeah, it was, used to feed a big family. Obviously, we used to make a big, big <laughs> pan. But um, 
They, they were delicious. Very simple meals, but um, very, very good. So hopefully it'll be easy enough for anybody to do. Okay, this is almost ready. Like I said, we don't need to really cook it. It's just to give it a little bit of a... See, it's getting color already, which is nice. And that's what we want to do. Just give it a little bit of color. So we're going to take, just going to give it another, on this one, start taking them off, start putting the other ones in. Okay, I'm going to actually just spray um, the, uh, container with a little bit of non-stick. This way we make sure nothing sticks on the bottom. And now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to slice the potatoes, which I, you know, just by uh, wedging it nice and easy. So we can just uh, kind of uh, insert them through in between the piece of chicken. And obviously, if you like potatoes, if you have room in the pan, you can put more, as many as you want, as many as they fit in the pan. What I'm gonna do next is actually, I'm gonna just kind of uh, season the bottom of the um, roasting pan so that the potatoes and everything else gets uh, like a, a bed of uh, seasoning and herbs. So I'm gonna put some on the bottom a little bit of salt, a little parsley, and then we're gonna put the rest of them on top. So this is how we do it. Some tomatoes. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just get the piece of chicken Trying to arrange them in there. Hopefully, my pan will be big enough. This chicken was so big. I'll make it fit. It's already sauteed, so I shouldn't need that much room. Okay. And then we'll just uh, arrange the potatoes around it. Okay. Just kind of squeeze them in, in between. Because the potatoes, actually, what they do is they take some of the flavor of the chicken as it's cooking, and they become absolutely delicious. My husband always said the potatoes are better than the chicken. So that's how much flavor they get. Okay. In the beginning, I let it, I cover the dish and I don't put any liquids. If I need some, I'll have it up later. Because the potatoes, they don't seem to be liking, um, they kind of cook better without any liquids first. And it's amazing how something so simple looks so delicious and so colorful once it's done. And the green will stay green. It's not gonna change much. So we're gonna sprinkle some salt on the potatoes. We wanna make sure that the potatoes are seasoned. The chicken will probably need a little bit more again. Okay, this should be sufficient. Now the parsley all around it. tomatoes and you can use again whatever you have at hand uh, you can have um, pieces of peeled tomatoes uh, fresh tomatoes whatever you have there's no law that says you have to use one kind or another fresh tomatoes are always best they always give a, a that fresh flavor Okay, now a sprinkle of pepper. And actually, I have to put oil. 
Don't want to forget that. Okay. And just a nice Make sure that everything is seasoned. I would say about three tablespoons of oil. And now we're gonna sprinkle it with grated cheese. And that's gonna give it a beautiful crust. I forgot to mention that before, so just make notes. Because that's gonna give it a nice color and a nice crust. Okay, there it goes. I'm gonna cover it with foil for about 30 minutes until the potatoes are kind of tender. And then uncover it and I'll just let it finish getting all golden. Okay, the oven is already ready. There we go. We'll set it up for 30 minutes and we'll check it. Timer just went off. Okay, there we go. All right. See, they're boiling really nicely. I'm gonna check on the potatoes and see if um, they're actually getting tender. Not exactly. See, sometimes they might take up to an hour. So, but what I'm gonna do now, because see I released a lot of liquid from the chicken. I'm actually gonna leave it uncovered so it'll get nice and brown. So I'm not gonna flip it right, in, right now. I'm gonna put it back. Just kind of uh, another 15 minutes or so and then I'll flip it. Okay, goes back in the oven. There we go. Okay, I'm now gonna check in the chicken and see if I needed to flip it at, uh, this, at this point. Yeah, looks like I could do that. So I'm gonna bring it over here. Okay, let's see what we get our yeah, it started looking really nice. See, and I like the way the onions kind of brown at the same time, and all oh, the smell, oh. So basically this chicken is about ready, but I just wanted to make sure it gets a nice color on the top too, and the, the potatoes need another couple of minutes. So back in the oven it goes for another 10, 15 minutes. Hopefully at that time it'll be just the way I like it, okay. And this is the finished chicken and potato casserole. And look how good it looks. Looking delicious, looking great. Hopefully you'll try it and enjoy it. Okay, see you next time. What are you fixing, Vito?